Hello, Georgia B back again. Well, now it's card pal time again, and today I'm going to make my card pals this card. You can see it up there. As you can tell, the colour's green this month for the month of March. So I'm going to make them one in green. It's not going to be the same as this. Same layout, different greens. Now, I have got two lots of colours here because I've got to make two more so I'm going to make two cards. I've got an old olive card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. No, seven, yeah, five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth, four and a half. And I also have a garden green card base, card base at eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored up four and one eighth. Let's move that out of the way. They've each got a piece of uh, basic white card inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have got two pieces of white to go on top at five and five eighths no yeah five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and I've got two pieces of the Forever Fern DSP I know it's retired now but I've got to use it and this is five and a half by three and three quarters this is actually this one's on the other side So they will go on like that. I've got scraps of garden green and old olive for the leafy bit here, the bit that goes round. And I've got some scraps of white for the triangle and the circle. Right, I'm using dies. I'm using the stitch dies. And I'm going to be using a small circle and I think it's the third largest or the second one in. Yep. Square. And I'm also using the Forever Ferns dies. And I'm going to use that for the colour cards. And I'm going to use that one and that one. Right. So I'll put them aside for now so we don't need them just yet. We'll glue them all together. Um, oh, stamps. I'm going to use Forever Fur and I'm going to use that one and that one. So I need. So let's get them on a block. And for the sentiment. I'm using this special moment stamp set that was in the celebration and I'm going to use this one here is just a little high from me it's just a little tiny one there right when I ordered this stamp set special moment they did send me it in Dutch and when I phoned up they sent me the wrong one told me to keep this and then they sent me the English one. If I've got any Dutch viewers out there who would like this, I'm willing to send it to you. All you've got to do is email me at georgie13 at live.co.uk and in the um, comments just put yes please to the Dutch stamp and if you give me your name and address, I will send this to you. As I don't know what it says because I don't do Dutch. 
I believe it's Dutch. I don't think it's French. I think it's Dutch. Because, and I don't think, it's, it's definitely not German. I mean, that best wishes is Vio. I can't even read it. Yeah, so if you want it, email me and I'll let you have it. I should post it to you. Right, so we'll get started. I've got some garden green and some old olive ink. So we're just going to stamp. One of these, um, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll do it like that. Yeah, that goes in there, lovely. And then we need two more. I'll get another one on there. to do this one in Old Olive. Now I know this one's going to be too big but I will make sure when I cut it out that I cut the top bit and not worry about the stalk at the bottom. I think my old olives needs re-inking. So that's that. I get right, um, didn't get this stamp out either. Now I've just got to look for it. Close these up. Now, all we got to do is cut all this lot out. So I've got me um, what do you call it? Cutting machine. Kick a bird or cut machine. And I'm good. 
to cut this out like that. And put this one over here. Cut what I can out in one go. One of them. Got all these out again. So this one is this one. I could have had all this done before I started filming but then you would have had nothing to see messed up there. I have, but it should have been that one. Another leaf. Rubbish. That needs to go there. Right. Now all we've got left to do is circles what have I done with it Turn that around that way. And these two. I can only do one at a time, so. I 
fact, all the cards I'm filming tonight, today, I have got no prep work done on any of them. That one. And That's all our bits cut out. So, right, the only thing we've got left to do is these two is to colour them in, if I can find it, Winker Stella. something as I don't want glitter all over the um, pad this has got loads of glitter on it Covered in Winker Stella, and I'm also going to put Winker Stella on these leaves. Just make them glitter a little bit. I was going to put, um, um, <coughs> what was the other one I was going to put on? Oh, I forgot what it was called. I'll remember in a minute. in them. Mm. Right, get rid of all this now. And now we go sticking our cards together. tested my ink. I've got new pots and I haven't used it for a little while so I don't know if it's dried up or not. Uh -huh. Right. 
these new pots do mean I'm using a bit more ink. Right. But I don't mind with that. There we are, that's one done. These glue bottles I got out of Amazon and they actually have a screw lid whereas my other bottles had like a rubber silicon that you put over the nib and they just kept puncturing so this one is a lot better even though it hasn't got the nib on it I um, I don't mind but it did have a big hole, you know, it was where the glue comes out was too big. So what I did was I stuck a pin in it and then melted the plastic around the pin, which gave me a smaller hole. You can't actually see it, so it's covered in glue. And now it's... Great, it does come out a little faster, but you can control it, I suppose. But at least it doesn't keep getting blocked up and drying up because it's not. Ah, look, I put that on the wrong way. That's one thing you've got to be careful of if you've got positional paper. <coughs> like these leaves. <coughs> this one it doesn't matter because they're arrows. Right. Now these are going to go up on dimensionals. And then these I just place in the middle of the card like that. And then I get these and place them either side of that one. A little bit of glue on the bottom. And 
place them either side. And do the same on this one. These, just a little bit of glue in the middle, are going to sit across there. In that bottom corner of the triangle. Now today. Right. And these. I'm just going to glue the top up, but I'm going to put a dimensional down the bottom like that. Put the glue on there. We've got the right one, note this one. Like that. Do the same with this one. That is my card. Card, <laughs> more than one. Done for my card pals. Sort of the same but different. Hope you like them. Hope you like them as well. If you do, give us a thumbs up. And please subscribe um, and press the like button. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers, so I need more subscribers. Um, yeah, if you like them, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment. Um, all comments are welcome. I, I do read them. Sorry about that, it was my daughter on the phone. Anyway, as I was saying, I'd like you to subscribe and uh, press the like button. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday and a Friday for now. All I can say is bye for now and thanks for watching.